Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So um, we're going to be getting into it. So before this game, I was doing a little bit of my warm up. It was my first game of the day. I had a 1000 Mortis. Unfortunately, we went up against Min Wung, who's currently a couple games away off of that rank 35 Rosa. So GG's to him. It was a little bit of a warm-up game for the video, but here we go. We're getting into it, and I've been working on my Mortis. I know you guys are like, how does he have slash had a 1k Mortis, but I've been working on my Mortis game. To be honest, my Mortis has been getting a lot better, and I know it's a personal fan favorite, fan favorite brawler of you guys, so I'm like, okay, I need to get better at Mortis so I can give off proper tips. Um, I got a really cool shot, which I'm going to show you guys right now, and I've had many cool plays such as that in Bravo, but it would be a lie if I told you guys that I purely grinded in Bravo, and I think this is where you guys can actually, you know, 1k your Mortis as well, because I'm not really that talented at Mortis, and to be honest, if I can get a Mort to 1000, then you guys can get a Mort to 1000 as well. We're going to be talking about how to do it in this video, so let's hop into it, let's get into some games, let's talk about star powers, let's talk about modes and maps, let's get into it, and let's tell you guys exactly what you guys want to do, let's hop into the first game. Okay, so here we go into our first game. We're going to be going up against Double Mortis and Crow. So that's actually really interesting. So let's talk about the first star power, or I guess the second star power. But what people think is the more OP one, Coiled Snake. Now, obviously, Coiled Snake is super, super good. We're just going in and dying. Just kind of showing you guys what Coiled Snake does. Just a really, you know, super long dash. But I actually don't think this is the better star power. I think it definitely is for Brawl Ball. But I just don't think it's that good in any other mode, to be honest. As you guys can see, I'm just dying really easily. Nothing really to help with. I did just get my super, which is very, very crucial for Immortus. But to be honest, in this mode, I really don't prefer Coiled Snake at all. And in base, basically every mode outside of um, outside of Brawl Ball. So what we're going to be doing basically here with, with Mortis and Gem is, you know, just taking a lane. Now, this is obviously not the greatest game in the world, but Mortis is actually really, really viable in Gem. Uh, you can get a lot of matchups, which are really, really good for Mortis, such as a Spike, which you see a lot, or anything that you can 3-hit or 4-hit is really, really, really good for Mortis. Let's get some bats. It's really important to get, you know, multiple targets with your bats. You guys saw, we actually, well, I guess you didn't see because it wasn't on the screen, but both times we shot, we got two targets over there. We can just stand in here because we're getting healed up, so it doesn't really matter. But you guys can see we've been dominating our lane. Nobody's even been close to us, and I mean, it's it's double Mortis Crow, so they basically can take us out whenever, but we've just been, you know, playing the better way. So basically, just taking out your lanes is important. I kind of went in there for no reason. There was no reason for me to. We would have won the game. Oh, that really hit me. Wow. Gonna do a little bit of a spin with that crow because he know he knew he killed me but yeah i mean this is how basically how you want to play the mort with this star power you kind of just want to go in on anything that's three shots you see that crow you want to get close enough to where you can just one dash on it with your long one and then you're going to be able to get a couple more kills uh you guys can see their mortis is trying to get the get the um the gems in the mid we're kind of just going to go in as a distraction we're going to go down but both of them went towards us because obviously we're a threat to the gems and we were able to pick one up. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a second. I think a uh, second's just gonna walk in and try and take that. Let's see what we got here. So it's actually a really interesting point of the game. We're definitely gonna be able to get that kill, so we should be fine. We're able to hit one bats, but obviously it's not what we want. Second's just chilling in the middle. They don't really know where he is. He should be able to get that kill unless the crow jumped away, which would be fine. Either way, second's gonna be able to pick up a kill over there. We're going to dash, long dash, and kill that crow, and that is going to be the game. So that's an example of what you kind of want to do with the long dash. Just kind of just put yourself in a position where they don't know you can hit them with your long dash, and then be able to get it. Um, so we're just going to, you know, go in here for absolutely no reason. It might just tie up the game, but, you know, we're, we're doing it. We're trying to have fun, show you guys exactly what to do with Mortis. So I actually don't prefer that star power at all. You can probably tell by my enthusiasm with the... With this game, we're going to hop over and use the other star power now. And I just think it's absolutely lethal because what makes Mortis OP is when you use it in the right way. When you use it in the right way is when you're using your bats correctly. And that just, it it just helps out your bats. It helps out everything more. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we go into the next game. You're going to see a little bit of a discrepancy when it comes to how many cups we have. But it's not one of those games, uh, one of those videos where we're just going in and playing games, as you guys know. Uh, we're trying to show you guys what's good with Mortis. Unfortunately, we got a really bad matchup over there, so we couldn't show you guys correctly what was just, you know, OP about this star power because, you know, we just got counter comped and obviously that's not great. So what we're doing in this game is showing you guys the next star power. And I mean, this star power is just lethal because you have so much health. As you guys know, you gain health every single time you get a kill. And I mean, that's, that's just too much with Mortis. You can make some really, really, really nasty plays. 
So we're gonna move up over here. It's basically kind of just like going in until you get your super with Mortis, unless you have a good matchup, so like a spike or something. We're gonna use our bats over there. Let's get a double hit. Oh my god, we didn't have ammo. If we got that double hit, that would have been huge. RJ's gonna go down over there. We definitely need to go in and pick up some gems. So this would be a really good way to kind of show you guys the strength of Mortis. So let's get another triple bats. We should be able to get this kill over here. Oh, we're gonna miss, but that doesn't matter. Our teammate's gonna finish it up. We're kind of just chilling in this area. And that was a really OP play by Mortis. So those triple hits with the bats is exactly what we were talking about. Gonna get a double hit over there. Again, trying to hit multiple targets with your dash or with your bats is exactly what's OP with Mortis. So we made a ton of big plays over there. We're one shot from Super, which means we can make another big play. We're just going to go up again and kind of try and do the same thing. So we're going to get close enough here. Let's get that triple hit. Let's get it again. We're going to be getting HP from that. HP from every single kill and every single bats. And we're full health, close to Super. And we're just going to be moving back. So that's exactly what I was talking to you guys about. We're going to stand here and try and get another kill for fun, because why not? Gonna go here, get that double bats. Gonna get that kill over there. And I mean, again, it's just like endless HP. Got bats, we have full HP. And that, that star power is just so good, in my opinion. It's super, super strong. We're gonna be able to get star player in that game. And I mean, although I said we skipped the game, we only did skip one. It's just because we got hard counters. So most of the time, you will be able to do stuff like this. Although we do counter tick, we were never on tick. We are always on the Poco or the Sandy, and we just went through them. So that was um, gem grab. You can do that in a lot of the maps. So places where you're facing throwers, spikes, Poco, Sandies, you definitely want to be using Mortis. If you're facing tanks or like Anita, obviously you don't want to be using Mortis because that's what counters it. We're going to hop into Brawl Ball now. We're going to show you guys how to play Brawl Ball without the dribbles, without the coiled snake, just kind of being an aggro-ish Mort. So let's hop into those games and I'll show you guys exactly what to do. Okay, so we got an insta queue here. We're going to be going up against Ash YouTube, which you guys know is number one in the world right now. So this is going to be an interesting game over here. Really good for our video. Really amazing that we got Ash actually. So they're doing a really good job. They have a really, really great comp. We're going to be able to pick up a kill over there. And Second's doing a great job juking. Ash isn't able to hit us right now. We're going to go through the mid and just pass the ball up to Second. So you guys can see we're not dribbling. We're not doing anything. We're kind of just being the aggro mortis. So we're trying to get kills. We're trying to get good positioning. If an opportunity arises where we can get a goal or can hit some dribbles, then obviously we're going to do that. But right now, there's just no reason to. Amazing kills over there by Ash. He had really great super. They're going to move up, but I doubt they're going to be able to get a goal over here since they all since they are pretty low HP brawlers. We're going to be able to get the kill over there on Tan, the spike, and we're just going to move up. We're just going to be chilling in this bush. We're going to get a couple hits over there on Clown Garmo, and we are going to go down. Pam is someone that just shreds. Second best would have had a goal over there if we had the pass over there by RJ. We're going to spawn. Clown Garmo is going to go for the trick shot. He's not going to be able to get it. And we're just going to move the ball to the corner and we're going to start moving it up the net. We don't want to be over there against a Rico because obviously the Rico will just shred us if we're in that area. Second best got a really good bubble. That's going to get a kill. That, that, that was just not good for Ash at all. If you're in that situation, it's going to hit you once or twice. Just keep moving forward so it doesn't hit you multiple times. You keep moving back. The ball is going to follow you back. So we're going to bring the ball up and we're just going to kind of leave it around here. Oh, I moved too much to the left over there. We're going to be basically going for kills, so actually we can pass this off to second over here, and we can go in and kind of just get some kills, do a little bit of damage. Second best is going to get the kills, he's going to do a little bit of a trickery, and that's going to be our first goal. So we're almost two minutes into the game here, really good game so far. We have our bats, so we can make an aggro play, and again you guys can notice that we're using the second star power, you don't have to be using Coiled Snake. Again, I prefer this one. Just do what you guys prefer. We're going to get the multiple hits with the bats over there. Going to move up to the spike. We're going to miss one dash, two, but we're going to be able to get this one. Ash is doing a little bit of prediction shots, but that's fine. We're just going to move down the middle. Tin, or RJ is going to pass us the ball over here. Oh, or not. RJ is going to pass it up to second best. And Garmo is going to get near us. I don't think that matters, though. We're going to pick up the ball. Going to throw it off the wall. Super Ash and put it in the net. And that is how you win a game against obviously a really good team since Ash is playing with on it with Mortis not doing any dribbles, not kind of, you know, being your typical Brawl Ball Mortis. We got star players, so we did the most damage on the team. We did the most on the team. And that's all you guys have to do. It's really, really simple. Let's hop into one more game on Brawl Ball and try and show you guys that exact same thing. Obviously, this is a really good team. Ash, number one player in the world. Insane grind. Huge shout out to you, Ash. But let's hop into it. And again, let's see if we can make the same thing happen. Okay, so we got another insta queue, which is amazing. We're going to be going up against O&O Updrop. 
And I didn't see who the Rosa was. Okay, so the Rosa, I don't know who the Rosa is. But again, a tough matchup for us. Anytime you face a Rosa, it's a very tough matchup. So we're going to get a couple hits over here on Updrop. We're probably going to get one more, but he's going to kill us. He's going with a little bit of a spin. Because, um, you know, why not? He knew he was going to kill us. But I think we have our defense solid. It was second best over there. And RJ. So we're going to pick up the ball over here. Going to move up the middle. But again, we don't want to really walk around with the balls. So we're just going to place that in the middle. Go a little bit aggro over here. And we have a lot of HP. You guys obviously can tell. Uh, because we got the multiple hits. Second best is going to be moving up. He's going to be able to get that kill. He's going to walk forward. Oh, he did a little bit of BM. The other guy caught the ball. Are you just going to pass that ball over to us? Oh, and we're just going to get melted. Okay, so a little bit a little bit of BM is going to cost us that goal, unfortunately. But that is fine. Second's going to go for a shot over there. We're kind of trapped over here since there's a Rosa. But this should be fine. Really, really good super over there by RJ. We're going to move to the left over here. Don't really know exactly where they all are. Okay. So we're kind of trapped. We're going to go for the double hit with the bats. We're able to hit it. Going to go for... Oh my god, I let go. If we had that, we would have gotten a double kill and we probably would have been able to get that goal. But that's fine. We're still doing a really, really, really good job against them. So we're going to be moving up here. Going to pick up the ball. Move more towards the middle. Second best is going to go for a swing over there. I'm going to go for the triple bats. And I'm just going to go in for the kill. As you guys can see, we got all three. So I'm going to stand over here. RJ is going to pass us the ball. And that's going to go right into the net. So that is the first goal. Basically at the exact same time as we scored our first goal against Ash's team. So that's really interesting, actually. Kind of ironic. Um, I'm going to pick up the ball over here. I think second is trying to go for a play, but I'm not sure. The Rosa will be sneaking on us, probably. So I put that ball over there. Second's going for the trick shot. He won't be able to hit it. That's fine. Uh, we kind of did just waste our bats over there, but it should be fine. Our defense is really, really solid and has been the last two videos, or two games, sorry. Second best is going to get the knockback over there. I'm going to put the ball into the corner. Second best picked it up by accident. Um, we're just going to super it down the side because I don't think they're going to be able to get it in time. RG is going to pick up the ball and that is going to be the game. So again, you guys saw us win with Mortis in, uh, in this mode. I mean one second buzzer beater goal. I mean, it's just amazing how much damage and how useful you can be with Mortis without being a ball carrier in Brawl Ball. So now we're going to head into Heist. Yes, you heard me, Heist. And Heist is a little bit tricky because you probably need teammates that you can coordinate with. Obviously, I'm not in a voice chat coordinating with my teammates right now, but with comps and such, you definitely shouldn't be doing this with randoms. I highly recommend not doing it. But basically, Every heist map has a thrower, some of them have some range, you just have to try and target those guys and your teammates basically have to be the tank destroyers. So we're going to hop into hot potato heist and we're going to show you guys how to grind mortis on that. Okay, so here we go into the game and as I said, they're going to have one range probably and one thrower. And that's exactly what it is and then one tank. So second best and JK are going to be here to destroy the tanks while we're going to be going for their range and their thrower. So we're just going to be chilling over here, try and make the barley comfortable enough to move up. See if we can get the Colt as well. Okay, we got some really good hits over there. They're going to be able to take them out. That's exactly what we want, is be able to take them out and get super. So obviously, we're a Mortis. We're not meant to go on the safe. If we can get some shots on the safe, that's great. But that's not what we're here for. Uh, we got to get this Barley, though. There we go. We're able to get that kill. And now we're just going to help JK on the safe over here. But most importantly, we kind of have to defend our teammates. So we're also going to be doing that. Kind of just a distraction in the middle right now. We've already done 35%. Gonna go over here, get some bats off on them and the safe. Obviously huge distraction. We're kind of just chilling here. Again, staying away from the bowl. You guys have noticed I haven't gone near the bowl a single time this entire game. Because you, you know, you guys obviously know why. The bull's just going to destroy us. So we've done 50% here. And we've basically just been a distraction and killing their weaker guys. So we're going to go up over here. We're going to be going for their barley. We're going to be able to pick up a kill and get bats off on the safe. We're going to hop out second over here and pick up this kill. They have a bull on the safe, but this should be a GG at this point. So we're just going to help out on the safe a little bit. We're going to be taking out this barley. Bats the safe. And that is going to be the game. So again... Um, second best is obviously a good player, so is JK, but you guys can honestly grind Mortis wherever you want if you use the right IQ and the right game plans. So again, if you have a good team, go on Heist. You can actually push Mortis on Heist if you play just like I did correctly, patiently, and smooth. You guys can see we faced a team of all 900s. They're a solid team. It wasn't any joke. Um, 
Brawl Ball, that's probably the way I prefer to push my Mortis is being an aggressor on Brawl Ball. So definitely try doing that. And then Gem Grab as well. And unfortunately, Bounty isn't out, but Bounty is another amazing mode to push. Uh, Mortis, you guys, you know, face Pipers, Brocks, Ricos, Colts, just all those ranged people that you can three shot with Mortis. So I would definitely recommend doing that. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys can also get a 1000 Mortis just like I did. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be it for me today. Make sure to subscribe if you're not. I will be back tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.